Hey guys, Marstingen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and I'm sure you guys knew this was coming. We always do a team building guide for the Easy A's. So we are going to be going over the guide for the Int Rage Trunks. I'm not going to talk too much about the unit himself. Obviously we'll do a video pre Easy A showcase and then post Easy A showcase and see just how much he has improved. Um, he's a unit that's kind of dropped off due to other same named units, but his easy A definitely makes him a lot more interesting. So this is a typical 30 stage easy A, so we don't really need to go through any of the uh, little details here. Uh, you get the four stones from doing the missions, uh, as long as you use at least one character from the Exploding Rage category, which is the special category for this event. Um, and if we have a look, so this one is a bit more restrictive when it comes to team building options because when you get to level 20 there's always a certain bunch of typings that get a huge damage reduction that will massively influence how you build your team. And as you can see here it's all tech types, all STR types and then super AGL and super int. So what that means is you can only use super and extreme physical or extreme int and extreme AGL. So that does definitely limit the options once you actually have a look at the list. So we'll bring up the category here. Uh, obviously, as you can see, the only m real leader for it is Beerus. So if you didn't pull for Beerus, uh, you're going to have to do some more creative things when coming to your team building. Um, and there's also not a ton of LRs that actually fit in to those restrictions as well. Because actually the only one is Rosé, who we don't have on Global. Um, and all of these other guys will be getting the 80% damage reduction, so that's not very good. Um, and then of course if you scroll down, like the category is not the biggest. Um, so I feel like people are going to be in one of two boats, which is you're going to be able to make a team that is pretty good using the few units that are available that I would say are the top ones to use. Or you're going to struggle to put a team together. So this one is definitely... A bit of a weird one. Obviously, if you did summon for Beerus, you're definitely in a better starting position. But let's go through some of the units here. So obviously, Beerus is the leader. Uh, three key, 130% to HP and 170 to attack and defense. Obviously, most people prefer the 170 to attack and HP. But in an easy A, um, especially up through the first like 20 odd stages, each round is probably only going to be what two or three turns at most. So. You're probably not going to need to worry about that too much. And obviously the more physical units you can bring, the less damage you are likely to take. Now if you do have this Beerus, um, not only is he the best leader, but he's going to be a very good unit on the run anyway. Um, I've been using him in the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta one, um, because the Vegeta one has the uh, Bond of Master and Disciple weakness which Beerus is in. And because of the way Beerus passive works, once he gets hit once and he gets this extra attack and defense 70%, I think on the Vegeta one I'm up to about stage 60 or so. And once he takes that first hit and gets his passive to activate, he takes double digits for the rest of the turn. So he's definitely going to be one of the better units on the team. And obviously he is the only proper leader that we have available. So if you have this guy, you're definitely off to a good start. Um, if you don't have him... Um, this guy is probably going to be your next best bet for a leader if you do have all of the physical units that we're going to talk about because after his easy A he of course has physical types 4 key and HP attack and defense 100%. So 100% isn't great um, but obviously if you're able to bring a friend Beerus that does bring your total up to 270 for attack and defense which is still pretty reasonable. I mean it's still higher than double 120 leads which... Um, we've been using the Physical Super Saiyan Blue Goku double leads on that Vegeta one way past stage 50. So that combined leader skill should be perfectly fine. Um, he does multiple super attack. He infinitely raises his attack and defense. Obviously not going to get to crazy numbers because the stage just isn't going to be that long. But it means if you get him on turn one, he's going to fire off a couple of supers, maybe an extra one from the hidden potential system. And then when he comes around again on the next rotation, he should be able to finish off trunks so he's definitely a good choice obviously even if you have Beerus I would say this guy is a must bring on the team as well otherwise he just makes a very good stand-in leader if you're going to run an all physical team so then we of course have the other physical Broly um can't use him as the leader unfortunately because there's not enough crossover with the categories even though there is some um he, there's not really much to say, we already know this guy, like, he's going to auto-super pretty much all the time, he's got decent attack and defense, 
Um, he only transforms uh, on the fourth turn. So honestly, unless you go past stage 30, you're probably not going to see this guy transform. Um, especially because if you get him on first rotation, he technically won't transform until turn 5. So you're probably not going to see this guy come out at all. Um, but I mean, if you do, it's probably going to be game over at that point because he's going to hit incredibly hard and then potentially follow that up with another super attack. And then, of course, even though they aren't the best link partners, he will link pretty well with the other Broly as well. So those two together will be putting out a huge amount of damage and uh, making it a lot quicker. So, of course, a lot of the units we're talking about to start with are physical. And then there are a couple of um, changes that we can go over based on other team builds. So Full Power Freezer is a unit that I can't say I really use much anymore, but... He's in the category, uh, his easy A made him pretty decent when it comes to dealing damage. Um, unfortunately, with his easy A, the only way his passive really gets that big boost is if he's attacking in the first turn. Uh, attacking in the first slot, sorry. Which, unfortunately, is one of those passives. The way that one works is he doesn't get that buff until he actually attacks. So if there's attacks in the first slot before Freezer's attack, he doesn't get this extra 30% defense. Um, and as you can see, he doesn't get any defense from his passive. So even though he has easy A stats, um, his defense is not going to be great. But the advantage to Beerus having 170 for defense instead of HP is if you are running double Beerus leads, you are going to be getting a pretty decent defensive buff. Because um, obviously, fully easy aid and rainbow, he does have pretty decent defense. Uh, the only problem is he doesn't link super well with anyone on the team. Because uh, he has over in a flash, which... Pretty much all the units that we've looked at so far either have shocking speed or prepared for battle. So, not the best. Uh, obviously, putting him in the first slot is going to help that because it means you only need to get him to 9 key and then he can super attack. Or you could obviously bring support units or other um, units that have over in a flash, even though looking at the category, there's not a huge selection. But if you put him in the first slot, you can get around that issue a little bit by only having to get him 9 key. And if you are having to run a full physical team, then he is obviously one of the few <laughs> options that you have available to you. So, then we have this physical Bardock. Um, again, I guess whilst he doesn't link well with Freezer, he gives two key to all allies. So that could help out if you are going to bring full power Freezer. Very weird to run a rotation of Freezer and Bardock, I know. But at least they, uh, they have Fierce Battle. He's going to be giving him that two key and the extra 20% attack. So they could work reasonably well together. Um, obviously in an easy A you can't seal. So that part of uh, Bardock's kit is not really any use. And he doesn't have the best defense. Like we saw that recently with even with like the release of the AGL Bardock. And like the Super Saiyan 2 category using some of these other teams. Um, Bardock is really useful in terms of links and the support uh, for some of those teams. But he just doesn't have very good defense. So even though he has type advantage, once you get a bit further into the EZA, he probably will start to take a bit of damage. But I would I would assume all the way up to stage 30, he's probably going to be okay. So then we have a, a another random one, a unit that's quite old that people probably don't use all that much anymore. Um, I do have him rainbow just because I've pulled so many copies of him. Um, he's a unit that definitely needs his own EZA. Uh, but that is the Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man. Uh, he does supreme damage, raises attack for three turns, so you can at least get one stack out of that. His passive is only 90% attack at the start of the turn though, so he's not going to hit crazy numbers even at rainbow. And of course he has no defense, uh, which is pretty bad. He does have prepared for uh, battle and shocking speed, so that's kind of useful with the mix of the Broly units and uh, Beerus on the team. Unfortunately though, he is a Shattering the Limit unit and not Fierce Battle, but... He should fit pretty well on the team. And like I said, one of the big strategies, especially if you don't have Beerus, is going to be to run a mono physical team. So he's kind of one of the last few options that you have, really. So then we have some other options for fixing the uh, team issues if you don't have Beerus. So Extreme AGL and Extreme Int, we know, do not get a damage debuff. So you could bring AGL Zamasu as your leader. Um because he is Realm of Gods and Extreme class. You'd have to bring only Extreme units. So you can bring the Brolies, you can bring um, Full Power Freezer, and then you can bring a Beerus friend, because obviously Beerus is on Realm of Gods. So 
um, and his other leader skill, uh, the Beerus alongside Exploding Rage, is also Realm of Gods. So Zamasu and Beerus will be giving each other their full leader skill value, um, and then obviously Zamasu will just be giving everyone else on the team 120% to stats, because I don't think any of the other ones we've mentioned so far are in Realm of Gods. So that is one way to work around it, and obviously he doesn't lose any of his damage. Uh, AGL Zamasu, not the hardest hitting unit in the game anyway, but at least he will still be able to contribute. And he defends reasonably well as well. Um, so he's definitely an option to use as a leader if you don't have the Beerus, or you don't have the Broly, or for example you have the Broly but you just can't run a full physical team because that's all Broly's leader skill covers. So that will be a little bit more awkward. Um, the other good thing though is we do have this AGL, uh, the Wrathful Broly. Um, now his leader skill is not going to be of any use because out of all the units we've mentioned he's only going to cover the Broly's and then I guess Bardock. But if you are bringing Zamasu um, and running an extreme team you are going to be able to bring this guy and of course he's going to link super well with the physical Dragon Ball Super Broly. Um, so he is definitely an option if you have to run the extreme variant of the team with Zamasu. I think that's probably the only way you're going to use this guy. So if we go back to the category, um, we got the AGL. If we look at the extreme side only, like you're not going to use any of the LRs here because we don't have Rosé. They're not going to do any damage because of the debuff. So Zamasu is the leader. Uh, the tech units are not going to do any damage, plus they have type disadvantage. Then the physical units, we only have three. So... I guess Fu, if you have Fu, uh, Extreme Int doesn't lose their damage, but your team is basically going to be Zamasu, Broly, Fu, and then these three physical units. And if you don't have Fu, then you're in a little bit more of an awkward situation. Now, one unit you could bring, I guess, depending on the leader skill you're running, uh, the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, he's going to lose his damage. But he's a very, very good defensive unit. As soon as he super attacks even once, his defense is going to be reasonably high. So he should be able to tank fairly well. But the problem is, out of all the leaders that we've discussed so far, he doesn't fit under any of their leader skills. So really, you can only fit him in as a slot filler if you're running Beerus as your leader, because he is on the actual category. Um, I guess the friend Beerus will be giving him the buff, but... I don't know if that's enough if the uh, he's only getting the leader skill buff from the friend Beerus and not your one. But I guess at the end of the day, you've got to fill your, fill your slots and it's better to bring this guy getting half a leader skill than to bring like a Cyberman. So um, nobody else here really stands out. Obviously, all the super types get hugely nerfed apart from the physical. No one really stands out here as a strong enough tank to bring, despite the fact that they'll do no damage. Maybe Bardock, I guess, after a couple of turns in his base form. Um, same with the extreme, like STR, like if you want to run the extreme version of the team with Zamasu as the leader. No one really has good enough defense that warrants putting them on the team, even though they're not going to do any damage. Um, but, as I said, you've got to fill the team somehow. Um, and if we go down to even like the SSRs that don't have Awakenings, there isn't really anyone here who kind of stands out. Actually, this Gohan, I didn't open up this Gohan's page at all. So this Gohan is the free-to-play unit from the Bojack event, who recently got the Awakening up to this form that we see here. Um, so he is another physical type. Obviously, that doesn't help with the extreme build, but if you're trying to run a mono physical team then you could bring this guy. He's obviously not going to get a the movie boss's buff, but he is going to get this uh, key to an attack and defense 30% because Trunks is a time traveler category enemy. So he's actually definitely a good option if you want to go down the mono physical route. So there you go. Like I said at the start, this one a bit more restrictive because of the options available to you with this category. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have all of the units here. We didn't talk about Kale. I guess we can open up Kale, because again, I feel like you're only going to use her if you're running the mono physical build. Uh, we don't have her EZA on global yet, so we can't look at that. But she does immense damage uh, and has a chance to do another super attack. Doesn't have the best defense, so she's not going to be very good defensively. But again, if you want to run the mono physical build, you potentially need another unit to finish off the team, and then you can bring her. So. I am fortunate enough to have all of these units here, so I probably will literally just be running these units minus the Kale. 
um, and then that should be enough to easily get all the way through the first 30 stages and beyond um, but yeah you're definitely in a bit of a more awkward situation if you don't have Beerus if you have everyone here except for Beerus then again I would say your best bet is just run this Broly as the leader and then run all of these physical units and of course like we just said you can sub in this Gohan if you don't have one of those other physical units so I think mono physical definitely the way to go but the Zamasu AGL team is definitely uh, sorry extreme team is definitely an option if you don't have either of those but yeah very bit more limited this one so as always if you guys need any extra help or advice let me know in the comment section you can let me know what units you have available we can try and help you out same with the discord we have a whole section in there to help out with team building and the link to that is in the description so if you have gone through the whole video looked at the category and you're still unsure how to build your team do feel free to comment down below or join the discord and ask for more assistance and we will be happy to help you out so there you go that is going to be the video guys hopefully uh you guys can make a decent enough team um depending on the day that it drops i'm still i'm actually recording this while that ridiculously long maintenance still hasn't finished so we still don't know exactly when it's going to come out but this video will drop the night before so obviously if you're seeing this the eza is probably going to be out somewhere within the next 12 hours um and yeah i probably will be streaming it as well so hopefully i will see you there so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new you can follow me on twitch or join my discord the link is in the description below and i will see you all again soon have a good one